Hi, here's a stringy tip that will help you reduce friction when stringing your crosses using the one head technique. All right, let's take a look. All right, I have a racket here that's partially strung. I did the mains in the first four crosses. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is weave the fifth cross and I'm not using the one ahead technique. So as you know, if you make this weave, you're actually uh, fighting against a string that's previously tensioned. It's like a hard weave actually. So, you know, when you're putting it through, uh, the weave is more difficult. When you're pulling the string right here, it has a little bit more friction. So again, the one ahead technique is recommended for weaving and pulling tension on your crosses. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this one. That was a hard weave. And now I'll go ahead and start the one ahead technique. And I'm gonna start off doing the first cross. I, what I see typically, and this is where uh, I see a lot of people could do better in reducing their friction. So I just finished that uh, weave right there. I'm gonna go ahead and tension the string that was uh, untensioned and go ahead and clamp off. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this string through. So I don't know if you could see what I just did, um, but I'll explain what I just did. And if um, this is something that you do, I'll show you an alternate way of um, pulling that tension through and uh, pulling the next string. All right, so there's that untensioned string right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, one ahead. I mean the, uh, yeah, the weave. Now what I did on the previous one, is I weaved it through, I left that string as is like that, and I turned uh, my racket around, and I went ahead and made the, I tensioned the string right here, like that. And you'll notice that there's a large loop of string over here. Uh, so if that's something that you do, then you know that you're using this technique. So what happens is that now when I'm pulling this uh, untensioned string here, it's, uh, it's going against the string that you just tensioned. So there's a lot of friction. I mean, you wanna go slow, you can move it up and down. Some people like to use the uh, diagonal pull where they go this way and then they pull it this way. Uh, yeah, either way is good as long as you're doing it slowly and uh, making sure that you're not notching the strings. So I'm gonna show you an alternate way of um, creating a loop. Basically, you're just gonna make a smaller loop. So I'm gonna uh, get my string through here. I'm gonna weave it through. And what I'm gonna do is after I put it through this hole, I'm gonna start pulling it until I create a smaller loop that's just enough to reach my tension head and pull that tension. And then so now what you have is a smaller loop right here that you have to pull through on this um, next string. So you're reducing the amount of friction because you're reducing the amount of string that you're pulling through. So I'll go ahead and do it again. I'm uh, gonna weave this through right here. I'm not gonna tension that string. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through and leave a loop. Obviously, as you get closer to the bottom of the racket, the loop will get smaller and I mean, you won't have enough string to make that loop. So you might have to just go with the, the string straight. And as you know, uh, yeah, as you get far down, maybe to the last cross, uh, you might not be able to even do the one ahead. So yeah, I think if you guys uh, try this out, uh, you'll notice a difference when you pull that string through and there's a lot less friction. So um, this is polyester too. So when you're doing polyester, especially anything that's textured, you're gonna notice a difference. And again, if you can reduce friction whenever you're stringing, that's always a good thing. So hopefully that helped. Um, try it out, comment below and let me know. All right, thanks for watching.